I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. There is something. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I'm sorry, Sarah. No, I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We aren't doing anything wrong. On the contrary, you seem to be doing everything right. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of... merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. 
Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellsorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? You can't just ignore this, Asher. This is your house, your family, your fight. None of that matters without sellswords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No, he'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. 
Wait, Marine. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Beska, you don't have to come. You could head to Astapor or even Karth. No, I'm coming. Nothing there I can't handle. Ponte Renas! Don't guy in a Josie, but Dagon Costotti Daor. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Yes, we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Hello? Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? Why would someone do this?
I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mobber. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt. Most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. Lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day's a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No. He just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. <sighs> I wish I could stand by you, Roderick, but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. 
How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fortune, Roderick. We'll pay it to secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... Yes, I think this will convince him. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Hall. But now I hear you're threatening them. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey you. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel. And kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsay that. Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Careful, Whitehill. House Glenmore backs us. And we're backed by the Boltons. So you'll be getting flayed together. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I won't bow to Lord Whitehill. And now your brother will pay the price. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man.
can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. It won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and the next, the phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. I wish I could have killed them myself. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Oh. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here, where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger.
I'm here. Where are you? Where do you oh. think you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asha for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady? Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. 
I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Your father caused this. He brought Ramsay to our door. He watched as that bastard killed my little brother. Yes, he had a part in it. But you cannot blame him for everything. Still. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... Your father is a cruel man. He's never done a kind thing in his life. That's not true. I admit, he's caused pain. But he's not mistreating your brother. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... Damn your father! How dare he fill Ryan's head with lies! Calm yourself, Roderick. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family, but instead they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Father. 